attention. Class is in session. The subject, seduction. Since the dawn of time, one tool has been used to both excite and seduce women. Storytelling. Telling a great story illustrates that you're intelligent, engaging, confident, and these are three of the most attractive attributes any man can have. Give her a great opening hook, keep the middle tight, and make the ending worth the wait. So I entertain her, and she'll return the favor. Trust me. All right, guys, the first round... Bit of a layup. Guys are getting warmed up, trying to figure out things. Sheldon, what's the next game? We got talented Mr. Ripley. Let's see if they can beat somebody else. <laughs> oh, all right, let's check out that. Out. In this round, each player must convince a woman they share the exact same occupation. Are you guys having a private VIP party here? No. No what? Sorry? No what? No, I, you guys were just closing off. I was, I was just wondering. No, it's kind of tight in here. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's 10 feet behind her. <laughs> open space. Yeah. It's tight? It's, it's, it's a personal thing? What do you do? Like, what's your job? Like, sell pools. Oh, you sell pools. Yeah, I, I sell pools too, actually. Dig them, sell them, the whole bit. Yeah. So, can we uh, dig a pool together sometime? You know, what? No. you know what, I realized this is not the first hole he's dug himself. He's a, he's a well, bit of an expert. You're, you're, you're right, because if he doesn't dig it for himself, I think the guy there on the right is going to dig it for him. <laughs> that, guy, that guy looks like Aleister Crowley over there, how creepy he is staring at him. Yeah? I'm not a seller, I sell them. I don't actually do You sell them, so you sell them, you sell them, you do all the administrative stuff, yeah, I'll dig it, yeah, I'll dig it and finalize it, exactly. we'll make it work, start our own business. That guy is weirding me out. I know. He's, he's, he's digging himself. I wonder if he fits in a suitcase. He's back with my friend right now, but uh, can I call you sometime? Cool. What's the number? 416. Yeah. He's holding his breast while, he's, while she's getting the number. <laughs> his heart's breaking. That's why. Come on, Max. Come on. Touch phone. Touch phone. You know. All right, we'll talk later. Take care. That is so weird. <laughs> He's like, so creepy. He goes, if I stand here quiet enough, I'll finally get her number. Yeah. That's just giving it to another guy. Yeah. I feel like I want to take a shower. You know what I mean? That felt so uncomfortable. Sheldon, let's try and let's try and ignore the creepy guy for a minute. Yeah. To be quite honest, we know talented Mr. Ripley always works. They have a bond together with the whole pool business. And you know what? That led to the number. So you can't knock him that hard for it. And that phone number exchange just felt like another business transaction. I didn't feel any seduction. I felt like this whole thing, we were watching the Twilight Zone. Well, I'm confused. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Marco the Crazy Servant, see what he brings in game two. How's it going? Marco, pleasure to meet you. How you doing? What's your name? Moana. Malena. No. Moana. 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 Holy crap. That took like seven tries just to get her name right, eh? He fumbled out like seven times. This is this guy Tiki Barber? Like, <laughs> hey, Belena, what do you do? Cheers. Oh! <laughs> Marco the cup holder. <laughs> Okay, seriously, what's going on here? Like, how long is he gonna stand there? This is a, this is a joke. He's actually just making me hold a drink. What? This is a joke. He's actually just making me hold a drink for a while. Where are your friends? They're all over on the other side. Uh, see the cowboy hat? I think you should go get them. Really, eh? Wow. Is your boyfriend? Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's, still, he's still clutching it like it's a, his life preserver. It's a memento, so he can remember that of the occasions. It's shoot downs like this that turn guys into pickup artists. Yeah. Because all dignity was stripped from him here. <laughs> and then girls complain that guys come at them with lame one-liners. Well, it's because of situations like this where the guy walks away with no pride whatsoever. You know, it's not often that someone gets shot down in such a big fashion without one word being said to them. <laughs> and that is memorable. Yeah. Marco, well done. Yeah, yeah. You held the glass with great pride and great patience. And you got to respect the guy with patience. <laughs> Way to spin a positive shelf. <laughs> it was unfortunate and painful to watch. And I think the scars are going to be more than just skin deep. They're, it's it's going to hurt for a long, long time what just happened to this guy here. All right, guys. You know what? We'll make it 0.5 to 0.5 in this battle of the titans. And let's take it to the last round and see who's going to get the trip, the ring, and the VIP experience. 
coming up after the break. You're just like, yeah, you're so cute. seriously? This guy, <laughs> it's, it's obvious that really? he's still experiencing some trauma from all this. <laughs> yeah. And later, the exciting conclusion to tonight's battle.